Inflation may be improving, but the cost of rent is still higher than it's been. And WRTV's Meredith Hackler finds out you may never see rent prices drop and stabilization could still be a while away. Inflation data released this week is showing that prices are slowing, but when it comes to rent prices, those aren't slowing as quickly, and economists say it could take some time before renters see relief. Before, you know, like maybe five years ago, you know, um, the rent increase may be like, you know, like 30 to $50. Now you're seeing that hit, you know, to, you know, like 100 to $200. Crystal Jones has rented her whole adult life. She's been in Carmel since 2005. She says within the last few years, the rent prices keep rising, even when her apartment hasn't been updated. People like me that have been here for years and not necessarily want to buy, um, but have been, you know, part of the community, it's like we're feeling pushed out. The economist I spoke with says while these new inflation numbers are good, rent prices likely won't decrease and neither will a lot of other goods and services. When we see prices go up for particularly things like mortgages or a number of products, we don't ever see them go back down. So some of the higher prices are stuck with us today. However, he says there will be relief for rent in the form of stabilization. The pressure for them to go up is now lower. Right, so the, the, the renter, the landlord no longer can sell their property as easily. Um, they aren't facing any high, any growth in costs. So I think we ought to anticipate rent more stable, stabilizing for the next year. Hicks says the hope of economists is that wages will increase enough every year to where people who are renting are making more than what their rent is increasing every year. Something people like Crystal Jones says isn't always a possibility. I just don't want to be priced out. You know, like I just want that, I, I just want to catch a break at some point. Working for you, Meredith Hagler, WRTV. Some economists say Indiana's $200 inflation relief plan is a double-edged sword, so you will get $200, but those economists say that will put a billion more dollars into the economy, and that could cause Indiana to see higher inflation last three to six months longer than in states that haven't provided relief.